In this lesson, students will be able to speak and write decimal numbers to the thousands place using both base 10 numerals or the standard form and number names or the word form. Students will be able to use both base 10 numerals, which are the standard form of numbers that they have been using, such as 1, 5, 4, 6, or the number names, which are the word form of a number, such as 1,546, written out completely in words. A decimal separates the whole numbers from the fractional parts of a number and helps us to identify the location of the one's place value. It should be noted that students are taught to read a decimal point as AND to represent the combination of whole numbers and parts rather than reading it as POINT, which will not help them to make that connection. Students should also be able to differentiate between the families of units, thousands, millions, and partial or fractional units when reading decimal numbers. Let's say that we are given the number 48,000 205. We can see that this contains only whole numbers, so we won't have decimal values to write on the place value chart. Let's begin with the units family and show that there are five ones to write in the chart. There are zero tens to write in and two hundreds, which completes the units family. Next, we will write in a comma. This will separate the units family from the thousands family that comes next. After that, we'll add the eight one thousands and the four ten thousands, showing that there are 48 in the thousands family. We can use the chart to help speak or read aloud the number. We have 48,000, the comma signals me to read the family name of thousand here. Then we have 205 in the units, for which we do not read or speak the family name. So the number is read, 48,205. What about numbers with decimals? Let's say we are given the following decimal number. We can see that this number has a decimal separating the whole numbers from the parts. The decimals do not have an official family name, but the decimal place values are labeled at the top of the place value chart as tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. We can see that to the right of the decimal, there is a one in the tenths place and a three in the hundreds place. Next, there are six ones, five tens, and zero hundreds to complete the units family. Then, there is a two in the one thousand place to complete the thousand family. Identifying the numbers within each family helps us to read or speak aloud and write the number name correctly. We have 2056, remembering that we do not say aloud the units family name, and the word AND is read at the decimal. Then, we read the one-tenth and three-hundredths as thirteen-hundredths, reading aloud only the final decimal place value shown. Notice the patterns that connect the number names and the base 10 numbers. Each time we come to a comma, we read or say the family name. Each time we arrive at a decimal, we read or say AND. And each time we read a number, we read the entire set of numbers within the family as one number. Students should also be able to work with both number names and writing them in base 10 numbers. Let's say that we are given 215,064 and four thousandths. First, identify the family names to help us know when to write in the commas. We know we also have units to represent, but they are not written in nor spoken. We will not use a comma for them, but a decimal to separate them from the decimal numbers or parts of the whole. We can also see we are working with decimal numbers when we read the word thousandths. Next, we will write the entire number within each unit. So go back prior to the word thousand and we read that there are 215 of them. So we write 215 in front of the comma representing the thousand family. Next. We know the decimal has marked the location of the ones or the end of the units. So we look in front of the word AND and note that there are 64 units, which must be written as 0, 6, 4 to show that there are no hundreds, just six tens and four ones. At the point of the word AND, we write in the decimal itself. 
Finally, let's look ahead of the thousandths label to see that there are only four thousandths, but no tenths or hundredths. So they are represented with zeros, and we will write 0, 0, 4. Therefore, the base 10 number is written as 215,064 and 4 thousandths. The objective for this lesson was that students would be able to speak and write decimal numbers to the thousandths place using both base 10 numerals or the standard form and number names or the word form. We met this objective by modeling the numbers on a place value chart and grouping them by family units.